Hello coolers and welcome back to Viva Barca, the home of everything Barcelona, where we are going to be discussing on some two interesting updates. First of all, starting with Felipe Coutinho, after moving to Aston Villa yesterday, you know the deal was finalized. Recent reports are claiming that Aston Villa have reserved a 40 million euros purchase option for Coutinho. We are going to be discussing much about that as we move ahead. Then to conclude, talking about Gerard Piquet, who have just revealed his salary at FC Barcelona just to slam claims of being among highest paid Barcelona players. We are going to be discussing much about that as well. So guys, as we get ready to discuss those stories in much detail, please make sure to subscribe to the channel. If you haven't subscribed, give this video a like and make sure to watch this video right up to the very end. Barcelona were finally able to get Felipe Coutinho off their books, at least temporarily, after agreeing to loan him out to Premier League outfit Aston Villa for the rest of the season. In his four years at the club, Coutinho never managed to live up to the billing, often struggling to make any kind of impact. His massive wages were a burden to Barcelona, especially in the current financial circumstances. So the loan exit offers a huge reprieve, you know, even if it is for a temporary basis. As reported by Cadena SER, Villa will be paying 8 million euros in wages to Coutinho, along with a 10% commission to his agent. At the same time, the Midlands club also returned the option of signing him permanently for a fee of 40 million euros, you know, at the end of the season. However, as per the report, it is not just Aston Villa who have secured the purchase option for the former Liverpool man in the summer. Instead, the Premier League rivals Tottenham Hotspur also have an agreement with Barcelona that would allow them to sign Coutinho permanently for the same fee. The North London Giants had been heavily linked with a move for Coutinho this month, but ultimately decided not to sign him on loan deal. Instead, Antonio Conte and Co will now up to see how the midfielder fares on his return to England with Villa, you know, for the rest of the season before taking a call on the permanent move for him later this year. Why it is certainly an interesting situation, Barcelona will be relieved to have gotten Coutinho off the books for now. His loan departure, subject to medical and work permit, should enable Barcelona to register new signing Ferran Torres who arrived from Manchester City in a 55 million euro deal. Then on to the next story of discussion, Barcelona defender Gerard Piquet has taken to Twitter to slam TV3 journalist Luis Canot after the latter claim on the Spanish television program that Piquet and his fellow captain Jordi Alba and Sergio Busquets are the three highest paid players at the club. News of Gerard Piquet's massive salary reduction in the past summer grabbed plenty of headlines amid Barca's major wage bill crisis. You know, the club continues to grapple with the overflowing salary mass in a race to complete the registration of new signing Ferran Torres from Manchester City. Cannot on TV, you know, stated that Busquets, Piquet and Alba are still somehow the highest paid players at the club. Piqué quoted the video on his handle and posted a screenshot of the salary he received on the 30th of December 2021, as you can see there. The amount shown was just over 2.3 million euros, which can safely be said is not uh, at the top of the wage pie. Players like Usman Dembele still out earn their teammates, of course, by some margin, Busquets and Alba had also taken wage cuts and agreed to defer part of their wages in August 2021. Piquet, clearly unhappy about the misinformation being spread, also called for Carnot to have some self-respect. The World Cup winner said in his tweet that people like him are paid to defend their friends in the national media. So colors, with that we come to an end of this episode. Thanks a lot for watching. Hope you did enjoy the video and also hope you did subscribe. If you haven't, please make sure to do so so you always stay up to date with the latest on FC Barcelona here on Viva Barca. Until next time, bye bye.